hello guys you're welcome uh, today we are actually heading to every mountains area and it's one of the best locations that a lot of people you usually stay around Medina or Yarefa Dodoa they go they go there for exercise and you know um, jogging on the mountains uh, or yeah so it's a lot of people know this location and people have been you know uh driving when they are closer to the mountains then they are light and then starts um, jogging climbing the mountain and going up and then climbing down uh, so it has been an, a place for recreation for people uh it's free it's just on the main road that it has a sideway that people use to jog on and uh, so today i am actually taking you there so that you can also have a look at it if you are considering of buying a house or uh, buy a building around this area or locating or renting around that area you know that you have an advantageous location that um, people can actually you can actually once a while during your weekend go for jogging and exercise yourself i'll be understand yeah so basically if you want to buy a land in ghana you want to buy a house in ghana kindly check in the description of the video you see some of the properties for sale some of the houses for sale uh -huh. and some of the lands for sale and my number and email is there you can reach me out also if you also want to um, me to make a video of some locations in Ghana you can kindly leave your comments in the comment section and if you want it quick to be done quick you have to know that it is paid you will pay me but if you want me to do it on my convenience that one it is free you don't pay uh -huh. so basically this is the route you see there's a very nice route uh -huh. going to that place uh -huh. as for the route we don't talk about it. it's very smooth going to every area uh -huh. so i'll be showing you some of the houses uh, closer to the main road to have a look at it uh -huh. so guys there are a lot of people who are doing investment and it is important that if you are also thinking of um also thinking of you know um doing investment in ghana you should also consider looking at some of the environment and locations in this area that is why i act intentionally make the videos for you so that you can as well have a look at what is going on in the country uh -huh. i think that's the place i have seated doesn't allow me uh -huh. so you can see this is a very big building you can see how people are doing overtaking on the road so this place is such an interesting place um, going to your Yarefa, this is the road you use. Uh -huh. Going to Ebre, this is the road you use. If you are going to Kofodia, this is the same road you use. Uh -huh. But those people who are going to Dodoa, they are the other side of the road. Uh -huh. It's not here. You don't use here to go to Dodoa unless you want to. You want to go when you get uh, further, there's a branch you take. But all that is just long journey and stress. Take a look at this building. Can you see, so um, as for this place, those people who go for um, hiking, now huh? it's such a mountainous area. As you can see, the mountains from afar. Let me zoom a little bit. You can see the mountains from afar and people have built houses on the mountains uh -huh. i heard that there are nice homes over there too so i don't know probably when i get there and i have a lot of time and energy i might proceed to that place to make some videos for you to have a look you see you have to also think about how you can invest in your country yes investing in your country is not waste of time it's not waste of money you will not stay at Europe for a very long time. You will not stay there for all, for all your life. Huh? That in Europe they have 
a place for retirees or people who go on retirement you understand look at the mountains you see the kind of house they have you see how people are building on the mountains see uh -huh. so let's go what i was saying is that in europe there is a retirement home if you are old and you are weak they take you to the retirement home so imagine you have stayed there for 20 years 30 years 40 years and you have raised your family there you have a wife and children over there and you know you grow you with your wife if she's a white woman if she's an african fine you grow with her for a very long time you grow your children you take care of them they grow then now when the children grow when the children grow and then you are now old instead of them to take care of you they'll take you to the retirement home they say these people are weak we, we don't have time for you uh, so we'll take you there so you go there and go and be living with old old people you don't get to see your family you don't get to see people you know uh, so because of this kind of ideology a lot of people are really relocating to africa uh -huh, especially ghana and then they get one of the best locations one uh, nice estate to you know actually relocate to uh -huh. some are also building on the mountains they get good plots of land uh -huh. so it's actually a frustration a lot of people are waking up they don't want to spend their life in a boring place with old old people arguing people meeting the only people who come who come to attend to you are nurses and kt cash uh, it's actually a boring lifestyle that the european world is suffering aha uh -huh. so if you're a Ghanaian, you have stayed your life there you have working suffering that inshallah in the near future you will have a good place to sleep you have a resting place for yourself uh, you can see on the mountains uh -huh. you have a resting place for yourself so that um you know uh, you and your children and your grandchildren all will be enjoying uh -huh. so you wouldn't want to go through the kind of lifestyle that is in europe uh -huh. because as an african we are grown to understand what family is to understand the family is not just the nuclear family your wife or your kids to understand that it's a it's a sacrifice that everyone has to make to understand that a parent is a problem solver to understand that a parent deserves love to, uh -huh, so uh -huh, so this is Ayimensa. This is Ayimensa area. So here they sell um, bread and things. They sell bread here. And so if you are going home to go and see your family, you can buy bread and go and then distribute it to them yes that is african our life oh we don't think about we alone no though now people are really preaching that everybody should fight for his own and you just think about yourself but that is not always the case oh as africans you can see people walking on the road most of them are going on jogging so this is where it starts from then they jog to the mountains uh -huh. so you can see how the place is mm, there are houses down there so right now we are climbing the mountain you understand we are climbing the mountain see how beautiful the place is see how serene and cool the place is the weather here is so amazing it's like living in europe in ghana you can see people jogging on the road people who are walking on the roadside yeah they, they went for jogging you can see people you can see front you can see people jogging on the roadside go for jogging you know it's such a beautiful thing to be here and every Sunday you go for jogging 
or any day you can go for jogging so people climb the mountains yeah so basically that is how the place looks like uh -huh. this way You see the house on top there? Take a look at the house on top. You can see that is on top of the mountain. You can see. Uh, I see people walking at the roadside. That is where you jog. So, as I was telling you, it's a very good place. You can come for jogging walk around you see people walking around you see they have written that there's 200 and uh, 2168 steps to climb to the top oh this is so beautiful they do be away so I want to show you the outside that it looks like there's is bushy over there so you see this is the top of the mountain we are still climbing uh -huh. we haven't even got to the top yet see people climbing you can see houses this is these are all houses down there right because we are moving on a speed Uh, you can see the mountains see people jogging see they, they're selling fruits are also there because they know people stop here to get some and see uh, people jogging on the roadside it's heavy it, it has it has a uh, slow caves Aha, uh -huh, has very slow caves. All these people are here to exercise in the morning. And right now it is 7, going to 8 a.m. People come here around 5, 6 a.m. to come and jog. They park their cars down there. Then they climb the mountains and then jog. Uh, so right now we are at Pedroasi. Okay, so if you are thinking of having a relocating at somewhere around a bridge, know that you are really at having a upper, upper hand. So you can see how it has sharp caps. See a very beautiful house on top there. But I'm pretty sure it's a hotel. Can see. Can see people jog, people coming from exercising. See Rastafarian. <laughs> He's not wearing any clothes. Uh -huh. So you have to understand. See people. Uh, so right now I'm showing you the streets. When I alight. I will I will show you I'll show you the houses down there. Me. Okay, Hana here last time. Hana Mufuba. This is Hana here on Mulas. I'm Mufuba. No, I'm not jogging. No, I'm not. Okay. So I'm in Siwa, Hawaii. So this is actually the front house. Peduasi. Okay, so this is Peduasi. I've been hearing about the Peduasi. Is it lodge or something like that? So, so guys, as you can see, we are actually at the Peduasi, and you can see currently, I'm the Peduasi that is on top of the mountains, and this is actually in the township that is around the mountains, and I will be taking you back to the mountains to have a look at how it is. I just want to enjoy the view. But before that, I would have loved to roam in the township of the Peduase. 
Uh, but if I have enough power, I will definitely do that uh, before I will go back to the mountains. So I'll be roaming the township to show you uh, the area so that in the next video I'll show you, I'll go back to the mountains and show you how the whole place looks like. I hope you understand. So kindly stay tuned, yeah? I'm not leaving back. Let's continue the video. So this is actually the township that we are right here. I've been hearing about the Peduasi Lodge. I actually don't know where it is. Yeah. So this is on top of the mountain of Ibri. And that's the first town you will ever meet when you, whenever you come here. Yeah. So, you can see how the place is. I think this could be, this would be a hotel. Uh -huh. Looking at how they align everything. You should expect that it's a hotel. And see how the place looks like. So this is the township, I will have to make time to come and then uh, visit one of the places, uh, some of the places around here. I heard that there are nice houses around this place. I will have to inquire and know about that. But before that, I want you to just have a look. Um, if someone is selling a house for you at Peduase, know that driving from this place to the airport, could take you around um 40 minutes if 42 yeah but without traffic without traffic it can take you around 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes to be at the accra airport however if there's traffic uh, that could take you over one hour you understand it depends on the intensity of the traffic jam So you can see this is the township. So this, uh, this is the stone city. So basically that is what I'll show you for today. Because I'm very hungry. I want to go to the mountains to show you how the mountains look like. And to show you the houses around the mountains. Yeah. So basically that is what I want to do for today. So that the next time when I come, I'll go through the Peduasi uh, Township for you to have a look at how the place is. So kindly stay tuned, yeah? Yeah. You know, keeping health, Ghanaians believe in keeping their, uh, uh, maintaining a healthy life. You understand? So everyone is doing his or her best to try to keep, to try to keep himself strong by going through doing exercise yeah mm -hmm. so this place is a very smooth road to Kofodia uh -huh. and the road is so beautiful see they have summer huts here uh, kind of like huts that you could sit under them uh, if you have this your house is cool but this is for this who have um, recreational place people could go relax uh -huh. so the, okay so I just see the Peduasi Lodge sign over there you can see they've written Peduasi Lodge right uh -huh. so the, that lodge is very popular Whenever I hear Peduasi, the lodge comes in my mind. So, to some extent, I can't even mention the town without adding the lodge to it. So, that is how you build a brand. Build a brand that when people hear, when people hear the place, or they hear you, they'll just um, have an idea about you. 
so you can see from here the township they have houses on top of the mountains over there too let me zoom a little bit so you can see though it's not so clear but you can see i hope the mountains stop when we go there we can have a better view here yeah? mm -hmm. See? Should I run too? Okay, let me also go, man. Oh, oh, oh. So you can see from this side. Um, But you have Safari Valley over there. You have Hill Palace Hotel, all located at this place. So basically, I want to go to the township to do uh, a money. So I am heading to the township of Ketase to do a mobile money transaction. You can see that um, the township is nice. Uh, I actually want to do a transaction, mobile money transaction. Uh, this is a wall distance. War rocks. Good yeah, good morning. Uh, so, wall rocks. Uh, so, is there a page I see? You can see some of the houses around. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, though. This is how the Ketasi township looks like. So this is the Ketasi township. Okay, Ketasi. Okay, I see the right up. K I T A S E. So Ketasi township. This is how it looks like. So this is the road that is leading you to us. Okay, come on. I'm in your name, Mama Waha. Okay, Mama Nyama Waha. Okay. Yeah.